And I am alive. For today's stream. Uh, this is my first stream ever. My name is Aki Angry. And um, I'm just going to be mostly just doing some casual gaming. Uh, today I'm going to start off with some uh, of my favorite game as a child. Now, why isn't this working? Of course. There we go. Now, I remember one of the cheat codes. I'm not going to use them. I will display that I know the first one. Select, select, select. It allows you to rename your characters. But I am not going to do that. Because I like the names as is. Isaac, Garrett, Ivan, and Mia. Who... As a child, I always thought her name was Mai for some reason. I don't know why. I'm assuming Yu-Gi-Oh. Isaac. Wake up. Please, dear, wake up. The Mount Aleph Boulder is going to fall. Come on, Isaac. We have to go now. I'm not going to be reading through every piece of dialogue in the game. This is fairly casual. Isaac, you forgot something. And she's going to give me my cloak. A tunic. Have I got everything I need? Uh, this is a non-choice. I believe she, if I say no, she just tells me then I'm fine without it. But yes, I have everything I need. A lost possession can be replaced, a lost life can't. The boulder's gonna fall. Kyle, will they be able to stop the boulder? No. Um, interesting fact about this game. Uh, they like to tell you that you need to go somewhere, and then they don't let you go there. She's going to tell me that I'm old enough to get there on my own. Ask me if I can find my own way. And the plaza is to the south. But if you go south, boulders stop you. This happens a lot in this opening segment. Boulder stops. You can go into the houses, but I don't believe there's anything to pick up in the opening segment. Boulder blocks the path. Here's Garrett's house, which is empty. Because Garrett... I think there's something in that one later. Because Garrett... is... up here. He's trying to save his stuff. 
And we can either walk away or tell him to dump his stuff, but it all results in the same thing. I wonder what happens if you say no. It's not what I said. I said you should take your stuff. Now, if you go up north, you get stopped. I'm told you can't go that way. So we're going to go south. And a big boulder begins to fall. large boulder the size of a small boulder, which is referred to as the Mount Aleph boulder, as if there's only one actual boulder in Mount Aleph. It's, um, it's kind of weird. I like how it's like there's this one big monolithic boulder, but it's just a boulder. It's a big boulder. But it's not... Eh. It's devastating, but I don't think it's as bad as um, it's made out to be. This guy here. Am I going to let this guy live, or am I going to let this guy die? Because I have the choice. <laughs> Rock slide destroyed the fence. Monsters are everywhere. I'm hurt pretty badly. Do you think I'll die? Now, what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to take the game card for Golden Sun 2. And I'm going to flip it like a coin. If it comes up heads with the sticker on the front, then he gets to live. Unfortunately, this man has to die. This is awful. I'm left here for the monsters, too. Huh. I thought he died. I was so positive he died there if you told him no. That's so weird. And the first combat of the game. There's a limit to how much combat actually occurs in the prologue. And I think in the first dungeon as well, there's a limit to what level you can get to before it just tells you no more monsters. I have no Psy Energy. I have just a couple of healing items. So we just attack. Also, the classic Golden Sun battle theme. Another enemy, it's just a bat. Um, critical hit. This game has a kind of weird critical hit system, because there's actually two kinds of critical hits. There's critical hits uh, with just an attack, and later on, certain weapons get different kinds of critical hits, where they can do special stuff, like instantly kill your opponent, or drop a star on them. Although that one's in the second game. I don't think there's anything across from here that I can do. I think Boulder stops me here. Yeah, Boulder stops me here. So the only way I can go 
is down here where my mom went anyways. That's Jenna. And Jenna's family and Felix. And my mom. And my dad. Who I thought went to go help with the boulder, but... It's been a little bit. Dora and Jenna are going to go get help. Which means I'm going to go get help. I like the sound effects for people talking. Just the kind of little squeaks. No, I missed it. So she's going to be looking for somebody who can help Felix. He's fallen into the river. Yeah, I guess we can help. Jenna's gone to the plaza. Go join her. So off we go in a direction we already know the direction of. Now, the reason I attacked the second enemy is because if Garrett was still targeting the first enemy, it just would have not attacked. He just would have defended. It's a weird system the game has where it doesn't switch targets if your initial target is already dead. There's nothing I can do down there, and up just takes me there to a boulder I've already encountered. Nothing in these buildings. Though it doesn't particularly matter because I think there's only like one or two fights left in the prologue. building here is just a house. These bushes here become somewhat usable later. You can always tell what's usable in this game just based on the color palette on whether or not it's interactable or not. You. You can use Psy Energy, right? Yes. Can you use Psy Energy? If you were ten years younger, you'd have plenty to offer, but you're too old. Yeah, okay, Boomer. Little Felix has fallen into the river. That must be why Jenna looked so upset. Oh, this kid. This kid can use Psy Energy. He'll certainly help. Honestly, yeah. It's more than Isaac is able to do right now. We can't let the Mount Aleph Boulder destroy our village. The monolithic Mount Aleph Boulder in all caps. For there is only one boulder they could be referring to. I find it interesting that they've known about the boulder for 
quite some time to the point where they call it the Mount Aleph Boulder. And, like, given it a name and everything. Despite the fact that I'm assuming it was stationary before the Mount Aleph began to erupt. Of course. Random item that restores PP. Despite the fact that I don't think my. Yeah, we've got. Technically got PP, but we can't use it because we have nothing to spend it on. Anything up here? I don't think I've actually checked up here in any of my playthroughs. Nothing up here. And now we go back to the bridge. I love the music in this game. Felix! Yes, ma'am. We all stop. <laughs> They'll be fine. I'm sure they're all going to be just fine. Okay, you're paralyzed. Your whole family died. My dad and her husband are dead. I'm... My character's got nerves of steel and is perfectly okay with the situation, I guess. Just able to run around and remain calm and go get help. Chad Garrett coming to help. I love their theme so much. It's so good. Only the two of us survived. How could we have anticipated that Soul Sanctum would unleash, unleash such a fury? It's a miracle that even the two of us were spared. See that? That's a clue. That switch, it must have been a trap. Another demonstration of the awesome powers of alchemy. It's... Another weird thing about this game is they almost never go into the science behind alchemy. They talk about 
Psy Energy and the um, magic behind it. But the chemi part of alchemy is science. The study of chemicals or something like that. Chemical compounds. Part of chemistry. But they never talk about the chemistry of it. It's just... You can use your mind to create an earthquake. You were eavesdropping on us just now, weren't you? No, sir. Honest, I wasn't dropping no eaves. No. Isaac? Isaac, they look scared. Garrett being judgmental, of course. Are you sure you should be talking to them? I wasn't talking to them. They were talking to me. But we didn't hear anything. I told you I wasn't eavesdropping. And they're going to help us forget. By murdering us. What happens if I defend? Can Garrett survive? No. They're also very good at jumping. Oh, that's it. That's the game. Three years later. I'm curious as to what caused the damage to the roof. Was it a different storm, or are we still recovering from the same boulder falling? Because all the other houses look fine. Yeah. Now we've got Psy Energy. What happened to us? The accident three years ago. Is that why you've been studying Psy Energy? Um, I mean, it's kind of our village's thing. Like, almost everybody in the village does it. <laughs> I appreciate your concern, but my family is never coming back, and neither is Isaac's father. I mean, we would still be learning it either way. And Jenna just wants to forget that day, which is fair. And then Garrett follows up with, oh, That day was awful. This happened on that day. And Jenna's like, uh, Let's go get to find Isaac and go to Creighton's. You were about to say something, weren't you? Nope. Don't be weird, Garrett. Garrett, you can be as weird as you want. <laughs> Jenna, are you mad at me? You're angry, aren't you? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Isaac's waiting for us. N no, I'm... I'm fixing the roof right now. Mm -hmm. 
But at least I'm able to train while fixing my roof. Everybody can join us up on this straw roof. There's a term for that, but I can't remember what it is. That kind of roof. You're very reliable, Isaac. Just like your father was. What is it, Isaac? Do you still think about the accident that destroyed our village? Killed your father? Uh, yeah. You and Garrett have been working yourselves to the bone studying Cyanergy. Do you think things would have been any different if you had stronger abilities? Yes. We could have pulled Felix out of the water ourselves and not had to waste time running down to the plaza. I was devastated when Kyle died. Understandable. I felt all alone. It's taken some time, but I'm better now. And I still have you, Isaac. Uh-oh. You're almost 17. You're so much like Kyle was when he was young. I'm looking forward to seeing where life takes you. Which means it's going to be an adventure. Without her. Ma'am. Yes, yes, good morning. Well, if it isn't Garrett, too. Where do you all plan to go today? Uh, nowhere. Uh, we're going to Mount Aleph with Creighton, where it's forbidden to go up. Mountain climbing with Creighton, eh? Kids in their games. Uh, no, it's part of our studies. Ah, yes, alchemy. Uh, alchemy is the foundation of all cyanergy. And Mount Aleph is the greatest source of all alchemy. Alright, so we're going up there to play games. I say Creighton is the best teacher around. Alchemy, I wonder what use it all is. Your mother would rather see you grow up a happy, ordinary man. That's a good dream for a mother. Just wants their kids to be happy. But I suppose you still want to go. Yep. Well, if that won't persuade you, I guess nothing will. You're just as stubborn as your father. And she falls off the roof, and Garrett falls through the roof. Oh, that was exciting. Sorry I scared you like that. Well. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll get right out of your way. And won't cause any more problems while I'm here. Just fix that garret. Oh, never mind. But you'd better get going. Get off my roof. This whole house will fall apart if you stay much longer. She calls it an old house, but the outside actually looks pretty clean. Aside from the holes. Please, call me Dora. And yet I'm the explorer.
Garrett and Jenna joined the party. Oh, Aleph looks beautiful today. Puppies, much like boulders, will block your path. There's some puppies playing over there. We should let them be. They are right in the way. Nut. That I cannot collect. Now, if I remember, I have to go up and around. Oh yeah, Garrett's sister pissed. <laughs> You're in for it tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I will be. Just see what happens tonight. I will fix your flowers. Now that I have Psy Energy. I'm actually going to set that to a hotkey. Uh, now, if we try to go up, some dude will get pissed off at us. You're not planning on sneaking up Mount Aleph, are you? But no, of course not. Well, I'll overlook it this time, but I've got my eye on you, Isaac. I have to go see Creighton before I can actually do anything up here. Yep. Mount Aleph is a sacred peak. No one can climb it without permission. Taint the purity of Mount Aleph, and you risk terrible retribution. I think they're trying to tell us something is going to happen. Do you need to go past here? Yep. You must be going to Creighton's Cottage. There's the puppies again. Well, there's a familiar face I haven't seen in... Three years. The Elders of Vale must not permit anyone to enter it. Not even Creighton. Creighton, can we use him? Hmm. His knowledge is no meager thing. He values it more than even materialistic things. We can use him. But he's more stubborn than we expected. And cunning, too. Cunning beyond measures. If he won't go willingly, then we can always... What, just kidnap him? Hey. Were you eavesdropping on us? Um, yes. Well, I can't permit you to <laughs> continue your spying. Hey, you're the ones who are sneaking around. Sneaking? Who are you to accuse me? So Creighton's engagement was with you. Uh, yeah, we're off to meet him right now. And this appointment is important enough to drive us away? Not really. Nevertheless, Crichton sent, uh, sent us away. He awaits you. Go. You're just letting us go after we told you we were eavesdropping on you and how you wanted to kidnap Crichton and enter the Sacred Beak.
Minardi, we have no reason to delay these children who are eavesdropping on us any further. Let's, um, let's go. Just who were they? They know too much about Soul Sanctum. Things that even the Elders of Vale don't know. What were they saying about the elements? The elements of alchemy. Earth, water, fire, and wind. Do they plan to set them in motion? And the four elemental stars are the key? These are things even I, a trained alchemy sage, do not know. He's a trained alchemy sage and he doesn't know about the four elements. You hear those awful growls coming from the other side of the fence? No, the game doesn't display those to me. Really? You mean I'm the only one that hears them? There actually is a small little cave on the other side of the thing, but I can't go there until quite a bit later in the game. Oh, Isaac. You look like something's bothering you. Uh, me? Bothering me? Uh, yeah, there's two people who are probably going to kidnap me. It's those two, isn't it? Saturos and Minardi were their names, right? Are they still out there? They're very persistent. Do they want something from you, Creighton? That seemed to be the case. The seem it seems to be. Mount Aleph and Sol Sanctum. They spoke with it as if they'd seen them with their own eyes. Isn't that strange? No, they were climbing up there on the night of the eruption. Why, I had to wait many years before I was allowed into Sol Sanctum. Of course it's strange. Yeah, but you didn't sneak in. And if they're entering secretly, they might be thieves. We have to go and rat them out to the cops. Wait! I don't know how accurate the things they said were. We can do nothing until we confirm what they told me with our own eyes. By sneaking into Soul Sanctum and stealing stuff. Isn't that impossible? Why? Just because it's against the law? Um, no. That's right. We're just going to see if they've been to Mount Alum. We're just going to go check. We'll be fine if they don't see us, right? It ain't a crime if you don't get caught. This will just be our little secret, okay? Yep. I mean, we've already told my mom that that's where we're going. We'll make you the leader, okay, Isaac? No. There are some dangerous places between Mount Aleph and Sol Sanctum. So I'll take over if you get nervous. If Garrett is our leader, we'll be the ones who are nervous. Don't you agree, Creighton? You don't have to be mean. This is our best bet. All right, let's go. Now, there's a couple of things I want to do first. 
I'm going to head to the plaza. Do, 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 do. I should go rest up at the inn. Do, 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 do. I'm not going to stay at the inn. But there's somebody... Um, interesting. Hey, boy. Do you have business with me? Uh, yeah. That's too bad, because I have no business with you. Be off. I wonder who that could be. A man with... Brown hair and an iron mask. There's honestly no reason to stay at the inn in um, Vale almost ever. Because eventually, right now actually, you've got healing Psy energy. And if you run out of PP, you can just restore it right there. Weapons and armor, and herb lady. I've got 310 gold. I'm gonna buy a long sword for Garen. And I'm gonna buy a long sword for Isaac. Game ticket. This will be useful later. Armors. Uh, I'm gonna get a shield for Isaac. And a shield for Garrett. Now, you may be wondering, if you haven't played this game, why I am not buying anything for Jenna. Well, don't worry about it. She'll be fine. Now I gotta head north. Hi, Mom. I thought I moved you. Okay, he's over there. But he's got his eye on me. More excellent music. This is the entrance of Soul Sanctum. This is your first time here, right? Nope. I've been here before. I doubt that. He pressed X to doubt. If you ever get the chance to see the Sanctum firsthand. Now, which way was it? I believe it was this way first. Got him. Long hallway. Plenty of space for monsters to attack. Bats. Of course the bat gets a critical hit on the person with no armor.
Gonna save Isaac's PP for healing. Uh, Garrett, I think, does more damage with his base attack. And Jenna can use magic. They can all use magic, but... Oh, sorry, Psy Energy, not Magic. Now, I can't remember. I think it's this way first. I guess I can heal Jenna for 70 out of her 30-something hit points. Which way was it? Was it middle first? I think middle is the chest. Yeah, there it is. Got a small jewel. Which is used... It's a relief of a minotaur. The right eye is sparkling, but there's a hole where the left eye should be. Menu automatically opens. A beautiful eye-shaped jewel. Let's use it. I honestly really love the puzzles in this game. A lot of them are really simple. Some of the ones later, particularly one in the Venus Lighthouse. Don't worry about that, that'll come into play later. Uh, is quite annoying. Okay, Vermin have some hit points. So let's have you attack, you attack, and you can Psy Energy. There, now Isaac's got an attack Psy Energy too. Two said there was a hidden passage leading deeper into the sanctum. Yeah, we found it. We had to put a jewel in the head of a minotaur sculpture to even make the door appear. I've come here many times and I've always thought it looked strange, so why didn't you tell us which way to go at the start? I always imagined Saul's sanctum would look different somehow. What do you mean? Saul Sanctum was built in honor of the sun. There ought to be something here to reflect that. I was always puzzled as to why there wasn't. If there is a hidden passage, then maybe it leads to... Well, let's see if we can find it. I think he's serious. Should we help him? Yeah, okay. But it's too dangerous for us to split up. We should stay together. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's do that. These dots on the ground, as we've seen with the pillar that Garrett was training with, uh, dictate whether or not an object can pass through it with Psy Energy. So I can move that there, 
but I can't move it any farther. Just a statue. Lots of enemies. Psy energy time. You can attack that way, you can attack that way, and you can attack those ones. That's my alarm clock. Energy is great because you can attack a lot of enemies. Now, Isaac has a synergy called Retreat, but what Retreat does is it does not uh, allow you to automatically escape from a battle, it allows you to automatically escape return to the start of a dungeon. It is escape rope as a synergy that you always have. I do not have enough PP to use it at the moment, which is why I brought it up, but I do not need to use it at the moment. Uh, what I do need is Psy Energy to attack. You could start off with those, you can do those three, and you can do those three. One of the nice things about uh, Psy Energy is that Psy Energy restores while you're walking around. I'm gonna go back and get that treasure chest even though I think it's unimportant. I think it's just a healing item or something. It was a jewel. I'm pretty sure there's a treasure chest somewhere in a room like this that you don't actually need. More statues. This one has nothing behind it. This one has another Minotaur head behind it. Oh yeah, and uh, the range of the move synergy is two spaces, and so you can move it um, even if you're not right up against it. Which is what I did there, because I can't jump across if there's something blocking my path. Use the small jewel. And now there's a door there. Oh, jeez.
again, more outstanding music. Clearly this is the mark of the sun, the heart of Sol Sanctum. Just as I'd imagined, which means those two were telling the truth. Which means they must have been thieves, though we don't know what they were stealing. They came to rob the Sanctum of what? <laughs> Let's head back and tell everyone in the village. We're so close to finding out what they wanted to steal. We've come all the way. Let's just, you know, why turn back now? The Soul Sanctum holds the origins of alchemy. It would be a waste to just leave when we could study it a little farther. What do you think? Shall we go a little farther? Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. If you put it that way, we don't have much of a choice. I mean, we do have a choice, but... I love his big red heart. Really? We'll just go a little bit further, then. I don't think it'll actually let me turn back at this point, yeah. And the Luna Sanctum. They never actually call it that. These rooms must be connected somehow, don't you think? Luna and Saul, these rooms must hide some sort of secret. What could it be? What does it all mean, Isaac? Would you look up the further up the passage? Sure. There's a synergy stone down here that I can use to recover my PP, but I'm going to heal first. Though it doesn't actually matter because there's no more combat in this dungeon. This is what set off the trap in the first place. This is how you deactivate the trap. Literally one room over. Honestly, I'd go so far as to call it the same room. Light. Pull you onto the light. Pull. Something clicked. Now we can push these statues on here. And for some reason, we're all just standing there admiring. Creighton. Hey, where'd that hole come from? This is honestly one of the more simple puzzles in the game. Basically, it's just you have to do the other side first. Otherwise, Creighton comes up and is like, hey, you're about to cause a volcanic eruption.
Now there's one more, but I'm gonna go downstairs. And see if anything happens if I try to leave. See, this Soul Sanctum side is now starting to turn into the moon. Okay, yeah, Creighton comes and yells at me. Downstairs. I still can't leave. The picture changed, but other than that, nothing looks different. I mean, the weird shiny aurora that was in this room is now gone. Music change. There must be something in this room. A beam of light that opens up a portal. I love the sound effects in this game. The sound effects, the weird talky beeps. And my favorite song in the game the Elemental Stars. It's so good. I wonder what it feels like going through that portal. Because he asks, where are we? And we can hear it before he's actually out of the portal. So there must be some sort of, like, connection, and it's not just you're here one second and you're there the other. Is that the ocean? No, it couldn't be. The ocean has waves. The ocean? What's that? Don't worry, Garrett. You'll find out. The ocean is a thing of endless water at the end of the world. Oh, yeah, one thing about this game is... Um, they're flat earthers. Um, the world in this game is flat. <laughs> you would not understand. Someday I'll show it to you myself. He actually doesn't. The Elemental Stars. They really exist. The Elemental Stars exist. The Elemental Stars are real! You taught us about those. Elemental Stars are the foundation of all matter. Stones, wood, even us, all things are made of those four elements. Did I get that right, Isaac? Yep. Exactly. As I have told you many times, the elements are the source of all matter. Earth, water, fire, and wind. These are the four elements. Legend holds that the four elements, uh, elemental stars, contain the purified essence of each element. And now those legendary stones are before us. Venus is Earth. Mercury is water. Mars is fire. And Jupiter is wind. How can you be so calm in the face of such wonders? You're looking at the very source of al all of alchemy. Haven't I told you all this before? Uh, yeah. 
Garrett must have fallen asleep because he doesn't have a clue what's going on. The Wisdom Stone, the Stone of Sages. This stone dominates everything. It can transmute crude matter into gold, even thwart death itself. Ah, so the, the Philosopher's Stone. You understand now, don't you? Uh, yeah. The study of alchemy began with the search for this very stone. It's weird that they began studying alchemy to try and find this stone. As if they knew it existed before they began studying alchemy. The order of... Knowledge kind of confuses me a bit. I don't really get how it works, but they have enormous power, right? And I crave power. Beyond enormous, with a single gem, one could conquer the world. Now, perhaps, you begin to understand. Don't scare us like that, Creighton. I totally thought you were serious. Heh. <laughs> Heh. Conquer the world. Who could say what the truth is? That's why I've been searching for the elemental stars. To conquer the world. I seek to learn what the truth about these stones. Now they lie before me! Mwahahaha! <laughs> Whoa. Be careful, Creighton. It looks slippery. But, but I must examine the elemental stars. Elemental stars conquer the world, Jenna. Make the boys do it. Ah, yes, good idea. Oh, I couldn't ask. Would you mind? He'd be glad to get the stones for you, right, Isaac? As a kid, I was told a rumor. I can't remember where I heard it. But there was a rumor that if you tell Jenna no here a hundred times, or something like that, then she would become the main character. And that's just a lie. It doesn't happen. He'd be glad to... She'd get mad and go do it with Creighton. Uh, go get the elemental stars with Creighton. But no, that, that was a lie. I, I, I've tried it multiple times. He'd be glad to get the stones for you. Right, Isaac? Yep. Ah, thank you. You'll need this, Isaac. You brought those from your cottage, right, Creighton? Yes. I brought these bags of mithrils so we could put the elemental stars in them when we take them out of the sanctum without permission. Also known as stealing. They're made from the woven thread. Uh, they're made of woven threads of mithril. I prepared them for just such an occasion. Now, go fetch the elemental stars and put them in those bags. I don't think they ever actually explain why mithril is important here. I think it's just, hey, here's cool fantasy material that's light as a feather and hard as dragon scales. There is a specific order you have to do this in. Um, you have to go Venus, then Mercury, then Jupiter, then Mars. Because otherwise the path isn't open. Put the Venus star in the mithril bag. Good, good. Now go fetch the others.
With the Mercury Star in a Mithril Bag. Good, good. Now go fetch the others. It's all coming back to me. Put the Jupiter Star in the Mithril Bag. Good, good. Now go fetch the others. Good, good. Now go fetch the others. It looks like they've spotted us. I thought we'd be safe until we'd gotten all like they gotten all the elemental stars. You, you mean to steal the elemental stars? Master Creighton, are you calling us thieves? As I recall, aren't you the one who stole our information? I think those are two completely different concepts. Did they file a patent on the information that the elemental stars exist in Sol Sanctum? What will you do once you've gotten the Elemental Stars? I'm sure they'll do us in once they no longer need us. Relax, you will not be hurt. That was our agreement, was it not? And that depends on how they cooperate. They'll be safe as long as they hand over the elemental stars. Isn't that enough? You heard us. If you wish to save your friends, then give us the elemental stars. Do you accept our terms? Yeah. No, Isaac, you must not give them the elemental stars. And what, just let them kill you and Jenna? Why would you deny us? Don't you want your friends to be safe? What guarantee do we have once we've given you the elemental stars? Oh yeah, a uh, masked dude with brown hair from the inn. Who nobody in the village recommend, uh, recognized. Uh, is about to remove his mask. Of course, a fine idea. He will be our guarantee that Jenna will not be harmed. Under these circumstances, we have little choice. Felix, remove your mask. Felix? Who could have seen this coming? He called that guy Felix. That's what he said, isn't it? Yep. You heard it too, Felix. It can't be. Felix is dead. We watched him die. You remember it too, Isaac. Then, what kind of guarantee are they giving us? What's wrong, Felix? Don't you want them to feel safe? Do you feel safe? Felix, wasn't that the name of your brother? But the accident, my brother, he... I'll do it. I'll take off my mask. I... It's not possible. Is he actually your brother? I know I've caused you much grief, Jenna. It was a miracle that I survived that day. We are the ones who saved him. We saw him floating unconscious in the river as we passed. I've been with them ever since. I've experienced a lot. But why? Why did you leave me all alone? Jenna. My own brother, I thought you were dead. Save the Terror Reunion for later. 
That's right, the elemental stars come first. Is this acceptable? Felix would never allow us to harm you or his sister. Felix will be our guarantee. Now give us the elemental stars. We don't have any other choice. Should we give them the elemental stars? Oh, uh, yeah. I guess I should take the elemental stars for now. Uh, for them. And there's Alex. He'll surely never be important in the story. Will you permit me to uh, relieve you of the elemental stars? Oh, Alex, you're late. Alex is another of our companions, and the stones to him. It's kind of weird how Alex gets the ability to teleport. When, like, he can teleport directly into certain spaces in the dungeon exactly where it needs to be. And yet, our best stuff is retreat, which allows us to teleport to the entrance of a dungeon and nowhere else. And eventually in Golden Sun 2, one of the end level abilities is teleport. You need an item to be able to do it, and it can teleport you to um, cities. But we never get anything as precise as Alex's, which it makes sense from a gameplay perspective why they couldn't do it, but it seems like a very powerful ability. Garrett gave him the elemental stars. I'm afraid I must apologize in advance. For you will be bringing us the remaining elemental star as well. Well, that wasn't our deal. Wait a second. You want us to grab the other one for you too? Oh, did you not understand me? You said you'd set Jenna free once we gave you the elemental stars. You promised. I like how he checks with Sotaros. Uh, Saturos. No, my friend. We want you to bring us all the elemental stars. Stop grumbling and bring us the last star. Fine. Hey, let me control Gareth there for a second. Thank you for your cooperation. We'll be waiting for the rest. Now, the proper way is to go all the way back, but I can't remember what this is. Yeah, it just leads to a big platform. And there's the last elemental star. We have removed the power of alchemy from the statues which they were imprisoned in. No, not again. The water's gone. Without the element energy of the elemental stars, the chamber is collapsing. Is this the terrible retribution the villagers spoke of? No, this must be more of alchemy's power. Whew, it's over, but what was that? Yeah, it's certainly over. Hello, Mr. Eyeball. Do you know what that is, Isaac? Uh, no. M me neither. It looks like someone is using Cyanergy to lift it. 
I'm pretty sure that the Wise One's sprite is actually just one of the boulders. Um, and then they just put an eyeball on it. Such power. Incredible. Wow. But the Mars Star, we can't leave it behind. I agree with Felix. We're no match for the uh, power of the Guardian. The Mars Star will have to wait for another day. What about Isaac and Garrett? You can't just leave them here. They're... They're criminals who were threatening to kill you if we didn't bow to their demands. And... We're... They're trying to make it out of their alive themselves. But Saturos, there's still a chance they might survive. Anything is possible, so what do you suggest we do? We'll take this Jenna person, if that is really what your name is, with us. If they survive, they will want her back. And if they want her back, they will bring us the star. Ransom. Regardless, Creighton must come with us. He is connected to all of this. Alex, are you breaking our promise? Conditions have changed since we made that promise. Pray they don't change any further. Jenna's not any part of this. I won't let you hurt her. Do what you will with me. Just let Jenna go. Your bravery speaks well of you, old man, but you cannot help Jenna now. If we leave Jenna, she will surely die. Is that what you want, Felix? Perhaps we ought to continue this conversation not an interrupting volcano. Seems like a good idea. Please, can we go now? Let's make haste. Hey, don't push my sister. Who do you think you're talking to? You owe us your life. Minardi! I like how even Saturos is like, hey, calm down a bit. She's like 16, being kidnapped in an interrupting volcano. Her friends are on the other side of a bunch of pillars and... Uh, giant floating eyeball rock. And... Like, I get the need to make haste, but, you know, you can be nice. Master Creighton, you will be joining us, of course. Okay, watch the order that they leave. Kidnapper. Hostage. Kidnapper. Isaac, Garrett, don't die. Hostage. Half kidnapper. The Mars Star. It's a pity that we have to leave it, but perhaps we'll be seeing it soon. Kidnapper. I thought that was a neat detail. The order makes sense from a kidnapper's perspective, not that I kidnap people and know what a kidnapper would do. Well, this turned out pretty badly, wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah, it's not looking great. Nah, nah, we're fine. How could you be so calm at a time like this? Jenna and Creighton are gone. We're in an erupting volcano. You don't think they'll hurt Jenna and Creighton, do, uh, do you? Nah. 
Yeah, they'll be safe. Felix is there. Hey, where'd the eyeball go? This is really terrible. We've got a long way to go if we're going to make it out of here. We're in, uh, big trouble. Uh, yeah. Let's get out of here. Hey, Isaac, I'm over here. Come on, we gotta go. Like... Why are you standing there? This place has become dangerous. Hey, you're the dangerous one. The fuck are you talking about, Garrett? I like how Garrett calls him dangerous and he immediately does something to um help them. The volcano will soon erupt. I cannot hold it long. You must leave this place. And then the elemental djinn be like, You got it, boss. Take out the elemental star. No. Isaac cannot resist. It's cheating. Return it to its bag. No. The elemental stars are moving away from here. Without the power of the elemental stars to contain it, the magma flows freely once again and this chamber is collapsing. Magma. There will be no chamber for the elemental stars to return to. The world will be exposed to the threat of alchemy. Alchemy? A threat? It can be a dangerous power if it is misused. Much like basically anything. If the elemental stars ignite the flames of the four lighthouses, that power will be released. As long as the four lighthouses remain unlit. The volcano. It's erupting. Flee now. Uh, but how? Ah, I see. I will help you. We gotta go. Did that floating eye thing save us? No. Yeah, right, let's get out of here. Okay, now there's two options. You can actually run through the entire maze again, or you can go to Isaac's Synergy and use Retreat. Which will take you all the way back here. I thought Mount Aleph was inactive. Oh, my grandson. Will Garrett be safe in this eruption? No. Grandpa, we don't even know if he's up there. But, but sis, someone saw him and his friends climbing Mount Aleph. 
They were hanging around here while I was on guard duty. And you... Clearly didn't do your job to guard the entrance. Isaac and Garrett went to Mr. Creighton's house. Didn't they say they were studying alchemy? Yes, they did, but what does that have to do with the eruption? Uh-oh. It's, uh, Grandpa and the others. Uh, what should we do, Isaac? Should we go back up? Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's go back into the, uh, erupting volcano. Garrett! Isaac! Ah, oh, you're safe. Come over here, both of you! Where have you been? Frowny face. What happened? No. Weren't Jenna and Kraden with you? Yes. They were taken away. By whom? No. This is all very complicated. We'll need you to tell us exactly what happened on the mountain. Come into the sanctum, both of you. I like their recap of the story. Meanwhile, Head Priest isn't even watching. Just like that. We had no idea. The true sanctum. And Jenna and Creighton are prisoners? They've been taken against their will. How awful. Do you think they can be saved? Yeah. Jenna's brother Felix will protect them, won't he? Yeah. What is it, Great Healer? You've been very quiet. It's like you're a thousand miles away. That hovering stone, the one that appeared before Isaac and Garrett. What about it? I have seen it before in my dreams. In my mind's eye, it appeared again just now and spoke to me. You saw it just now? It must be the wise one, guardian of elemental stars. It told me what happened to you in Soul Sanctum. Oh, so we really didn't need to tell you what happened. So what does the wise one say about the eruption? Will the volcano destroy Vale? It is impossible to stop the eruption now. Will Vale be... No. Vale will be safe, the wise one will prevent the lava from reaching us. Seems like a pretty cool dude. I'm sure he'll never do anything pretty awful in the future. 
What's the matter, Great Healer? The village will be destroyed, won't it? Something even more dreadful than Vale's destruction looms ahead. Loom. I love that word. Loom. Loom. What could be worse than the destruction of Vale? A terrible power. The elemental gems house incredible power. And Vale has been guarding those gems? The elemental lighthouses will loose that power upon the world. Once the power of the gems has been released, the whole world will be. The wise one wants us to get those gems back, doesn't he? No. The world is ours to save or destroy. Our inaction may bring about its destruction. Oh, what a pity. We cannot hope for salvation. We must save ourselves. Then what can we do? Acquiring the elemental stars is their fate alone. Are you suggesting that we place the fate of the world in the hands of Isaac and Garrett? Yes. Garrett is only a child. You can't expect him to bear such a burden. He's 16 in a fantasy world setting. It's close to adulthood. The wise one has spoken. Kill the wise one! Each of you shares responsibility for this. Now each of you must make your own decision. I don't know what to do. Isaac, you decide. Isaac, will you accept responsibility for the fate of the land? If you say no here, you actually get a game over. You say no, and he's like, are you sure? And then it'll like be like, as soon as you leave the room, you're just going to get a game over. Will you accept responsibility for the fate of the land? Yes. You accept? Oh, Isaac, you can't mean it. You chose to leave your decision to Isaac. There shall be no further discussion. Oh, wise one, I have accept- these two have accepted your quest. Give us your next command. You two are quite brave to take on this quest. I shall be watching you. Choose your destiny wisely, young ones. That was the wise one. What did the wise one say? Felix must unlock the power. Find the lighthouses. You'll have the guidance of the elemental star. Um, then what? I love Garrett. Garrett's great. He gets picked on for being not the brains of the group, but I like that he's actually like learning and trying to get edumacated. Like a lot of the stuff that he's doing, he actually does try to um, pick up more information, try to learn more about the world.
and alchemy. Surely you cannot that cannot be all the advice you can offer them, great healer. Ah, I know. Seek the elementals, the djinn. They will prove useful. Isn't there anything else? That is all. That's it? Isn't there anything else you can tell them? No. That is all, Mayor. I leave it up to you, Isaac, Garrett. Hey, isn't it almost time to meditate? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, meditation. Let, let's go. Well, what good are those guys? Sending children off with no help or direction. I agree, but... They didn't give us any other choice. Then... When should they go? It doesn't sound like we can afford to wait. Tomorrow, then? Tomorrow? Yes. The high-pitched squeak always gets me. Why is everyone hanging around the main gate? What, didn't you hear? Isaac and Garrett are leaving Vale on a journey. I wish I could go. I heard it's gonna be really dangerous. Oh yeah? So everyone's down there to say goodbye? Well, not that dog. Someone's not there. Hey, what's the matter? Weird. Isaac's mother isn't there to see him off. You're right, she's not there. Hey, we should go say goodbye too. Sure, let's go. We are counting on you, Isaac. Oh, and you too, Garrett. Don't drink the water if it smells funny. And take this with you too. I know not to drink stagnant water, sis. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Isaac. He's a pig. He'll eat anything that's not tied down. Hmm, Dora is very late. Oh, that's right. Auntie Dora asked me to give you this, Isaac. I like how... Garrett's little brother calls Dora his auntie. Which kind of... I'm, I'm sure it's just like a you know, familiar term and not like actually being blood related. But I kind of like the you know, they're all family. Family. Think again, Garrett. It must be very difficult for Dora. 
As Garrett's uh, as Garrett's mother, I know how Dora. Uh, eh, I know how Dora must be feeling. But I still have Garrett's father, while Dora only has Isaac. She doesn't want to see you go, Isaac. But she knows you have to, and it hurts to see you leave. They can't keep standing around like this forever, or they'll never leave. So, one final farewell. Farewell! And so our journey begins. Which is immediately stopped by Flint. Oh. A traveling warrior. And I see you're an adept, too. You are just the kind of fighter I've been looking for. Won't you please take me along with you? I am a Venus Jin. My name is Flint. I must find my comrades. We were separated from each other when the volcano erupted. Maybe you can help me gather my friends as you tra uh, as you travel. If you let me join you, I'll prove to be very uh, beneficial to you adepts. Your synergy will grow stronger, and your adept skills will also improve. You can call on us in battle, or just use us to boost power of your own. If you call many uh, on many of us at once, our powers will work together. What do you think? Will you take me with you? Yes. This is... The Djinn is this game, for those who haven't played the Djinn, or this game's um, collect collectible power-ups that are ridiculously powerful. Um, they will greatly increase your stats. See, his attack goes up by 10. And when your attack is only 33, uh, going up by 10 is quite big. Uh, the power boost is insane. The first one you get is just basically, hey, here's a power boost, and if you use me, I can attack. But some of them are really strong. Uh, my personal favorite being ones with uh, the same effect as Granite, which reduces... It doesn't make you immune to damage, but it makes the damage you take almost inconsequential. But I'll get that much later. A lot of the summons are really cool, too. I'm telling me mechanics that I'm already aware of, just... basically... After summoning, you have to wait for a turn. And I've got my first genie. Okay, so it only increases Isaac's attack by 3, but it increases his PP by 4 and his HP by 9, which is pretty big. Now it's over here.
There's Vale, the first town. But there's a cutscene before going in. We can't stay another minute in a dangerous place like this. We must return to Calais immediately. Nice uh, Final Fantasy reference there. Master Hammett, this is terrible. The bridge has been destroyed. We cannot continue southward. What? The bridge? This is awful. How are we going to get to Clay now? Master Hammond, I'm worried about leaving Ivan behind. As fond as I am, uh, as fond as I am of Ivan, it was his fault my rod was stolen. And his strange powers will aid him in his search of the rod. Ivan has strange powers? Yes. Raining Synergy Crystals. We must leave this treacherous place immediately. But to where? Where can we go? We have no choice. We're heading north. We'll wind up in Loonpa if we go north. Well, it's better than being smashed by falling rocks here, isn't it? It, um... It's really not. Welcome to Vault, a town in the heart of Angara. Everyone thinks our guests are thieves. But I think it's unfair to accuse them without any evidence. Sure, they look suspicious, but they've been quite uh, polite, and they paid with cash. See, I like this lady. She doesn't judge her guests based on appearances. She judges uh, she judges them based on how much money they have, which is also kind of messed up. But when you're a business person, that's just kind of how it is. This person This is a weird game and that you can always tell who is important based on their sprites. Have we seen a character that looks like this before? No, so he is new. We have seen old men we have seen Common Villager. We have seen Common Teenager. Priest Dude. More Priests. Head Priest. This dude will be our Revival Dude, who we will hopefully never have to use. But this house is important. Could someone please help Ivan? Okay. Hi, Ivan. Uh, yes, I do possess strange powers. You have them too, don't you? What? My powers call synergy? I had no idea. We have so much in common. I feel like I can trust you with everything. I am quite troubled. Master Hammett's rod was stolen. Would you please help me get my master's rod back? Okay. But only because the old man asked. Thank you. With your help, I believe we can reco recover the rod. Your names are... Isaac and Garrett, I'm Ivan. Pleased to meet you. It's kind of intrusive. My ability to read people's th uh, minds frightens you, doesn't it? Am I really... Is my mind read really so frightening? 
Yes. Ivan and Isaac clasp their hands together and immediately go to read Garrett's mind. Ah, my mind. Stop reading my mind, Ivan. So, Isaac, could you read Garrett's mind? Uh, yeah. What? You read my mind too, Isaac? I guessed that I could help you read minds if we shared our synergy. Hey, that's not fair. Why do you get to read my mind? You're right. It's not fair to only read one way. Ivan and Garrett clasped their hands together. Uh-oh. Whoa, I did it. I read your mind, Isaac. Okay, Garrett, what did my mind say? Let's use Mind Read to find the thieves. Wait a second, won't people know that we're using Mind Read? Oh, I see. You two can tell when I'm using Synergy. Isaac, both you and Garrett are adepts. Maybe that's why you can tell when I'm reading your minds. Ordinary people can't see anything, so there's nothing to worry about. Don't worry. I will not read your minds again. Ivan joined the party. Let me read the minds of the townspeople we find on the, uh, until we find the rod. So, one another fun thing about this game is that everybody has at least two sets of dialogue. One for what they're saying when you talk to them. Oh, you're going to help Ivan? Thank you. And a second one. Hey, that tickles. Being tickled by a boy isn't so fun. Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna... Pretend I didn't read that. Hm. Looks like they're on to us. We'd better leave this town as soon as possible. Are you accusing us of stealing Hammond's treasured shaman's rod? No. Ah, sure. I knew you were too smart to listen to rumors. But it wasn't us. Heck, we don't even know what was stolen. Then how did you know the shaman's rod was stolen? A fiery rock burned a hole through the roof. Sheesh, it's always me who has to take care of these things. Everyone thinks our guests are the thieves, but I think it's unfair to accuse them without any evidence. Sure, they look suspicious, but they've been quite polite, and they paid in cash. That volcano cost us a whole lot of business, and now this robbery. Those three are paying us a lot of money. I'll stick up for them if there's any trouble. The guests upstairs weren't in their room during the eruption. We searched their room afterwards, but we couldn't find anything. That's kind of fucked up, just going through people's stuff. Like, just because they weren't where you thought they'd be during a volcanic eruption. I forgot I should be checking barrels. Mint. I believe that's agility. Boosts agility. I'm going to save that for Mia. Those three strangers have uh, fooled the innkeeper and his wife. They're the type of people who think they can get away with anything. Okay. Save that about people who you've never really met. The master and his wife are blinded by money. They'll be in trouble if they don't help us search for the thieves. Okay, well, if you know who the thieves are, why don't you go find evidence? It's exactly who the people suspect it is. What do you want? 
It looks like that weird kid is with them. I can't stand him. Don't let him near me. Honestly, that's... judgmental, but fair at the same time. They're acting suspicious. Something's not right. But you can't use Mind Read if they you keep running away, can you? No. You need to get up close. There should be a way to read them, but how? Well, one of you stay there and we'll corner them. Maybe the three of us can surround one of them. Don't worry, this is gonna work. Isaac, you take the lead. Hey, they're back. Uh-oh. They're coming for us, one-on-one. -on -one. Do whatever it takes. Just keep away from them like before. Uh-oh. I'm surrounded. Now, Ivan. Uh, all right. What is this? What is he doing? He shut his eyes. What's he doing? You done, Ivan? This must be so weird for them. Because nobody else really understands that magic is a thing that exists. What did you learn? Uh, uh, what did you learn, Ivan? Uh, it's them, all right. I think they uh, took a lot of other things, too. It looks like they're hiding it all somewhere in this inn. But they won't let me near them again. Then I guess there's no other choice. We have to search for the uh, search the inn. Isaac always comes through. Damn right I do. Yeah, I was gonna go... He should be fixing the roof right now, but I can't find him anywhere. He's probably back slacking off again. Well, that's where it is, clearly. I wonder if we'll ever see our golden, uh, stolen gold statue again. That's what I wanted to double check. Also, another neat thing about this game is it's not just humans who have two sets of dialogue. Stealing in the midst of a volcanic eruption. Humans value money more than they value their own lives. You can also read the minds of animals, too. Nobody's stealing anything on my watch. We know the thieves must be from out of town. They must be. No one living here would break the law. Yes, nobody in this town would ever break the law. There's a genie over in that tree, but I can't get him until a fair bit later. There's another ability I need. Move the box. Boss fight time. I guess I gotta go free this guy. I came into this loft while I was fixing the roof. But I found I couldn't get all the way back to the... Uh, all the way to the back of the loft. So when I was looking into it, when wham! Someone whacked me in the head from behind. When I came to, I was all tied up. Strange, I don't remember all these crates being up here before. Maybe all that was... Uh, all that stolen stuff is in the crates. As they play the main antagonist's theme. 
Looks like we've been found out. You're pretty persistent for one of Hammond's we Hammett's whelps, kid. Why are you working so hard for Hammett? What's it to you? Anyway, Hammond's, Hammett's already been caught by a worse bunch of thieves than us. I hear Hammett fled to Lunpa after the eruption. Did you say Lunpa? A man with Master Hammett's money shouldn't go anywhere near Lunpa. Uh, what kind of place is Lunpa? The town was named after its founder, Lunpa, the noble thief. That family of thieves remained noble even when his son Donpa took over. But Donpa's son, the Donpa, they didn't go with, uh, Lupa, um, Lunpa, Lunpa the second and Lunpa the third, like they should have. But Dodonpa is a pretty cool name too. But Dodonpa is an evil thief. That man has no morals. I've heard he's truly vicious. See, we're not so bad. Will you let us go? Because assaulting somebody and stealing a bunch of stuff during a volcanic eruption is not as bad as a dude who you've told us is an evil thief with no morals. What? You mean even if we return everything we stole and apologize, it's still a crime? You must be joking. We stole this stuff fair and square. We'll just have to keep you quiet. And there's only one way to do that. Get him. Boss fight. Uh, genie. Uh, synergy. Uh, synergy. I'm gonna kill the... Th I'm actually gonna kill the th thief on the... Um, that side first. Because the thieves like to use healing items. It's kind of annoying. Oh, and I get to use a summon. See? It's a pain in the ass. There's Flint is on standby. I will start taking out this guy. Flint on boss man. Synergy. Synergy. Not that it's necessary. And level up. And I got the Bandit Sword. Which is a cool item with a bonus critical ability. I'm gonna go get the Mayor. Another thing that I find kind of weird kind of interesting is that smaller towns the mayor acts as like both the judge and the I guess police uh, chief of police like they don't really have like a whole lot of armed guards or anything like that but like the mayor is the one who's like 
yeah, this is this was a crime. These people need to go to jail. It happens in um, Golden Sun 2 as well at one point, where, like, the mayor is called to deal with criminals. Evil never prevails, you tell him, Garrett. If you'll give me Master Hammett's rod, I'll head to Lunpa now. What will you two be doing, Isaac? I suppose we have to go find after go after Felix and the others. Liar. Hey, he's reading our minds again. Shouldn't we stop him? Yes. It's too late, Isaac. He's already done. Damn kid has no uh, respect for privacy. These are the thieves, Mayor. See, they got these big dudes. But they're really just big villagers. <laughs> hey, you're the ones who left all your doors open. Uh, you're practically begging us to... Ouch. He deserves to get kicked. Uh, what should we do with him? We're going to lock them up for a long, long time. Hey you, Isaac, right? I won't forget this. Take them away. Thank you for catching the thieves. You have our sincerest gratitude. Really, you are a big help. Let's take a look at what they stole. Oh yeah, the mayor was missing in an urn or something like that. Found the mayor's precious urn. His family urn. So they stole an urn. A statue from the church. And the shaman's rod. We found another chest over here, you see? That must be your shaman's rod. Though we haven't looked inside of it. And there's all these other boxes. So three things were stolen. An urn. A statue. And a staff. All three of those things were pretty messed up things to take. The only one that really seems like it would have value to sell would have been the statue. I'm certain that your master has been kidnapped. How can I rescue Master Hammett? You can't. No one enters once the gates are closed. That's a pretty ominous thing to say. It just sounds ominous. What will happen to Master Hammett? Calm down, Ivan. Master Hammett is probably still alive and unharmed. But Anpa knows he can use Hammett to extort ransom from Calais. We can't do much until Dodonpa makes his move, but at least we know Hammett's safe. For now. Your name is Isaac, right? And you are... It's Garrett. Thank you both, you have my deepest gratitude. Well, let's go then. Before you leave, please come see me. I have something for you.
What a mess. We finally get the rod back, and now this. I wish I could cheer you up. You look so depressed. I just want Master Hammett. I want to rescue Master Hammett, that's all. But I couldn't ask you two to help me, uh, help me more. You have a very important mission, right? That's right. I saw it in your minds. I had no idea the volcano's eruption held such a secret. Yes, we have to get Felix and we have to help uh, find Felix and his gang, or we'll all be in trouble. Then I suppose this is goodbye then. No. Isaac said he would help you, Ivan. No, you've already done so much for me, I couldn't impose on you any further. I shall never forget this town's hospitality. I wish you all the best. Well, I guess we'd better get moving, too. There. I've helped solve this town's problems. And also lost a party member. I'm going to save here. And I think that's where I'm going to call it for today. But this has been fun. Uh, and I will be continuing it in the near future.